So, Pete, we've come to the end of the show. A whole month has gone by in no time at all. Yeah, a month. A month. So how's, how do you think it's gone? Well, to, to be honest, I've been a bit of a blur, to be honest. Um, I, did, I do have to say I went to bed last night and slept for 12 hours. So I guess that actually tells you just how tight it's been. I mean, it's been great. Done a few more people than we normally do. The cathedral itself, Chester's been a little bit quieter this year. Hasn't really affected us. Mm. Um, as you can see, we built, we built the first of our three blocks of flats. Right. So people can, at least we've shown people how that you that all this stuff can click together. Right. And it is like Lego, so they can see the way it's worked. Right. And they can follow the the thing through. So the biggest question is, what are we doing next year? And the answer is, in truth, I haven't got a big clue. <laughs> and you know what, Dave? Yeah. I'm not even going to think about it tonight. Well, we've got this year to get over yet. Yeah. Yep. Great Electric over. Train Show. Yep. That's what, yep. Eight weeks, six weeks away, is it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, we've got to get this station in for that. Right. So we're extending we're play, another four platforms going in, yes? Yeah, they'll, well, they'll, be in for, they'll be in for the great exhibition. Any changes to the flats, or is that it until the next um, show? No. I'm almost certain we'll have the other 15. Right. And I'll have started on the 20 stories. Okay. But, you know, as you can see, they're hanging off the back of the bit at the minute. Right. That, that is, you know, that will be filled in. So by the, by the time we get there, we'll have the station and the flats in. Right. And in terms of um, guest drivers, we're doing what? Upwards of 200 a day, is it? Something like that? Minimum, yeah. So, so that's yeah. what, 27 days we've done, is it? Yeah, 28 days. Yeah. God knows how many it is, but I mean, way over what we normally do. Right. Way up to 5,000. It's, um, right. it's been successful. It's been fantastic. Yes. The biggest problem that, that we've tried to explain to people, we shouldn't have been here. Right. So for us, it was a bit rushed. Yeah. And we, were, we don't like rushing. Okay. We like, which is why we started this now. Yes. So that we, we could get something extra. Right. The great electric. Right. I'm sure this organist waits for me he, to start. He, absolutely. Every time it's you and I on a camera, here he goes. So, this layout, how have you found it to operate compared to making tracks one, two, and oh, three? Easier. Right. Easier. It's been a lot easier this mm. layout to operate. No yeah. question. Okay. We've seen less. Chris's new couplings have been less falling off. Right. In fact, there's been no falling off. Right. No splitting you yep. know, with the size of the tracks. Right. So, no, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. I saw a comment in the forum on, the, on a video a couple of weeks back, and they were suggesting, why are we in a church? Why, why shouldn't we leave the churches to themselves? And I thought, it'd be a good opportunity to explain why we're here, actually. Times change. World moves on. Yeah. You know what? But the grace of good never moves on. Right. It's always the bigger good and the greater good. Mm. This is an amazing building. Right. Why wouldn't you use this for the community to come in mm. and have peace yes. and prayer if they want Yeah. and sit and contemplate and enjoy this wonderful space. Right. You know? We will have raised so much money by the time we finish tonight. Mm. It will have kept this church going for four years. Right. So don't knock me. Mm -hmm. Come and join me. Yes. You work out how you can earn these these places six or seven thousand pounds per day to make sure that we don't lose these spaces. Right. Because this is four thousand pounds a day or something. Actually, isn't it? five thousand seven hundred and fifty a day. Right. What's the new rate rises? Right. To just stay still. Wow. It's a day. Right. So we're proud of the fact. But every day we're in here, right. we actually put some money in the kitty. Brilliant. We pay the bill mm. and put some money towards the future. Right. That's fantastic. Well, we think it is. So are we doing any more work in the barn then, in your barn? Have we, have we got... Yeah, we've got to start immediately. Okay. Oh, no, Dave, we've got to start immediately. So That's... we're back filming there. So from tomorrow, we'll have a day off tomorrow. We're yes. coming here yep. to start to take it down. Right. Monday, we move it. Then Tuesday... We start to think about from next week, 
it's all hands to the till. Right. And by next Sunday, I'll have had the new baseboard on the back and the two new baseboards on the front, and we can start to work this out. Brilliant. And for those that want to see this and maybe haven't, we're at Milton Keynes in about yes. six, a Great Electric October. Train Show, October. Yeah. And then Blake Mia in, in December. December, January, is it? So? December, January. Yeah. Brilliant. And they'll see the details at the end of this video. All right. Well, thanks, Pete. Thanks for putting on another show. Thank I've enjoyed it. Always. Thanks very much. And okay. Nazi. Yes. Uh... Um, and have the guys all seen the Making the Tracks beer? Are they going to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure you're you're <laughs> Good evening, David. <laughs> Hello, Aaron. How are you? I'm here. Oh. Tired. Very tired. Again. What do you mean? You've actually done something for me. I've been here two days. Uh, <laughs> I bet you've not driven a train. You're on So here we are. This is the first sample uh, of a Chester Cathedral beer. Uh, it's an Indian pale ale um, called Cathedral IPA and the name of this beer is the 1090 Choo Choo uh, which is uh, dedicated to all the volunteers who have run making tracks here. Uh, so we are opening the first cans of this beer. Now on sale in the cathedral shop we're opening the first cans at a reception to say thank you for making tracks for. another good summer for Chester Cathedral. Uh, it's actually been quieter in the city than the previous summer and um, you have animated and brought to life uh, Chester Cathedral and attract people into this building who might otherwise think there's nothing here for them. Um, but actually this is a place that is for everyone. We have a chapel dedicated to a railway engineer um, and it's really fitting that we do this. Uh, really looking forward to you being back next year. Bigger and better? <laughs> <laughs> well, it couldn't be better. It couldn't be better, could it? When we should um, right. uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep the pressure up. Um, we, 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 doing eye-catching things in these buildings is really important, and what you do uh, is eye-catching and captures the imagination. Now, if you didn't hear me doing a little introduction on the video before, um, uh, you need to know that we have produced a beer in honour of you. Cheers. Um, yeah, cheers, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> and you can have a, a can of it tonight. Um, it's uh, it's a, the Chester Cathedral IPA, uh, Indian Pale Ale, um, and it's called the 1090 Choo Choo. So it's a Making Tracks uh, beer. The first printed cans with the beer in uh, have now uh, arrived. One or two of my colleagues uh, cruelly did a tasting of it while I was away on holiday. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get my first taste of it uh, today. So there's beer, there's Coca-Cola, there's Prosecco, uh, and there's pies that will be coming in in a moment. But Pete, first of all, thank you to you for leading this team and for being the inspiration uh, behind it. Uh, over to you. Well, I, I think they've all done amazing. I mean, without the volunteers, this doesn't work. No. So I'm, you know, I'm eternally grateful to the guys that turn up every day and make this work. And this year, I have to say, I think especially, is I haven't seen any day that there's not enough people to work the railway, which is a testament to where we've come in four years if we all think back to how short we were the very first year we were here. But the more important thing, I think, somebody just made a relevant point. Numbers are down in Cheshire this year. Numbers are down all around Britain down this year. And part of it is because of the situation we find ourselves in with all sorts of extraneous circumstances that are going on. One thing we're not really down in, we saw it here. We saw people enjoying themselves and playing with the train sets. This is a safe environment. And that's what's so special about this. We keep it safe. So parents, grandparents can come in here with their children. There is never any problems in here. 
And the more we send that message out that these are safe places where you can come, enjoy yourself, there's no threat, that's what we want to get across. And that was evident this year by the amount of children we've had driving and the amount of parents that wanted to drive. So it's taken us four years to get to this. I hate to tell the Dean, but two other churches have now pinched our idea <laughs> and they're starting to copy us. But I just want to thank you. No, it won't be as good. And I want to thank you, but seriously, guys, the safeguarding we've done has shown this year its value because we were a safe environment. And that's all you can ask of your grandchildren and your own children, that they can come into a safe environment. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I remember the first year there was a set in the nave and we had great big crash barriers yeah. all the way around it and actually they've gone yeah. and people engage with the set and you have the children driving the trains now I think that is a fantastic development and well, it shows you how we can trust one too. another yeah. that's down to you that's down to wanting to be part of this wonderful scene yeah. to get the kids to understand that even if they've never been here before they can come in I mean little Johnny it's yeah. a classic ex experience. Johnny comes with both his parents or his grandparents, he shouts, he doesn't feel any inhibition, he feels this is his natural home. Yeah. What an amazing thing. Thank you, thank you all. Beer, Coca-Cola, Prosecco and pies. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>
mega thoughts I've been doing.
do with all this stuff, don't you? I'm afraid. You should ask me to go now, so I remember that's 30 minutes. I'm sure my son's told me to go, I'm going to get dragged away. I'm back, it looks fantastic. Camera delay, looking up. Yeah, it's great. That picture of the city of Chester on there, yeah. it's great from there. Yeah.
Paul. Paul. PT's up here. Backside. Just making sure I wasn't running into something. Get out the damn tree. Yeah, I was trying to put your fingers in my shop. There's that okay. He's done here. And there I was. This is the map. I think I've thought it. Still rolling? Yeah. Too many things. Not enough motion left. Not enough, not enough drivers. Every seven hundred and ninety. So my mind is not off. Okay. Well, I'm just filming. Yeah, which is good. Anyway, this is better than the mine off anyway. Mine just doesn't chop enough. Drop a train coming through now. So there it is, a wrap for making tracks four. So we've had a great time. We're still playing trains. Uh, there's a church service going to start in 15 minutes. I think the organist is doing his best to move us out or move us on. And then we're having a little after party afterwards to, uh, to celebrate and thank all the operators that come. So thank you very much for watching the videos. Keep the comments. I'll read them all. And uh, we'll see you uh, in Pete's Barn on the uh, next video. So it's goodbye from Chester Cathedral for 2024. See you at Milton Keynes for Great Electric Train Show.